These Rode Wireless Go 2 are simply amazing. They're the perfect solution for today's filmmakers and vloggers. They're lightweight, the sound is crystal clear, and now it comes with two transmitters and one receiver, with internal recording on each transmitter as a safety backup. The signal is super strong. They reach almost to the moon. Well, maybe not the moon, but the signal has a reach of almost 650 feet. And we're gonna prove that by giving it the Venice Beach test. It's gotta be at least 600 feet. The signal on these things is incredible because it's just crystal clear. Rode has definitely turned up the heat with the new Rode Go 2. With two transmitters and one receiver, there's internal recording on each transmitter in case you lose connection. So all you have to do is clip it on and go. There's safety channel support and it's USB-C and iOS device compatible. You can also switch between split and merge channel audio. Plus there's the new Rode Central app where you can control even more advanced settings. And believe it or not, it's only $300. I've been waiting for Rode to come out with a two transmitter kit and I've watched several reviews on cheaper lower quality two transmitter setups but I was not impressed. So I'm glad I waited for the new Rode Go 2 because nothing compares to the quality and signal you get. It comes with two transmitters and one receiver, three USB-C cables, two wind muffs with an extra spare and a 3.5 millimeter male to male cable. These new wind muffs twist in place now so they don't fall off. Super nice. I would recommend downloading the Rode Central app where you can update to the latest firmware and turn on any advanced features that you may need before you start recording. More on that later. This kit has amazing sound and reception because of the 128-bit encryption technology that switches automatically and looks for the cleanest channel and frequency. The receivers have a very helpful digital readout panel that displays connectivity, battery levels for both receivers, with the ability to adjust dB levels, low, medium, high, and the ability to mute a selected receiver by activating the gray box and pressing the mute button. This is done by pressing the buttons located on the bottom of the receiver. Press the right button to pick the channel and the left button to mute. The red dots indicate internal recording enabled which is activated in the Rode Central app. You also have the ability to select between split and merged audio. By default, the Rode Go 2 is in split mode or mono mode for easy editing. By holding down both buttons on the receiver, you can switch over to merged or stereo mode, which mixes the two channels into one. I recommend the split mode for easy editing. For even more control, you can connect your receivers and transmitters to a computer and open up the Rode Central app. This is where you can change the gain mode from coarse to fine mode, giving you 10 adjustments instead of just three adjustments. You can also turn on the onboard recording. Each receiver has 24 hours of onboard recording. You can select uncompressed with seven hours record time or compressed with 24 hours record time. The recordings are done automatically, and once you've reached the maximum record time, the receivers automatically delete the oldest recordings, which is very convenient. You can access these files inside the Rode Central app, where you can play back and download in several different formats. It even displays place markers where your transmitter lost contact with the receiver. Now you don't have to go searching all around. That's pretty sweet. The Rode Go 2 connects to pretty much any camera. And for a really lightweight setup, I connected it to my GoPro 8, and it works great. You can also hook it up directly to your laptop or iPhone as a quick VO microphone. As far as range and quality, the Rode Go 2 is said to have a 200 meter range, which is about 656 feet. And for that test, we're gonna go to Venice Beach to give it a real world workout. Okay, here we are at Venice Beach, and I have Margarita along with me to help me out with this microphone test. Yes. The beach is a great place to test out these microphones because you have the Pacific Ocean here, and you got this breeze yeah. blowing off right now, so we're gonna see how they do in actually high winds and how well these, these little fuzzy My things microphone. work on top. Okay, so I think we're about 15 meters, you think? No way, this is no like way. eight at the Eight most. meters? Yeah, 40 times 3 is 24, 
So, okay, so we're about 30 feet. Okay, let's okay. go farther. And it's working pretty good. But let's all see, also Can see how it works if we turn our backs and we talk. Oh, okay. okay. So we're going to turn our backs and see how it works also. So, man, Margarita, it's such a beautiful day today. It is. Uh, so long we haven't been in the beach. So see, no, early. I know. <laughs> it's always good. You know, I'd say at least 50 feet. And the, the signal on these things is incredible because it's just crystal clear. Yeah, maybe 15 meters. Maybe. Maybe? maybe? Yeah. Okay. Who knows? I think we're about 100 feet. Maybe. What uh, do you think? How many meters 20 are we? 20. 20 meters? Yeah. That's, I'm at least 200, 300 feet. Oh, what's up, Rich? And I see Margie there. I can there. hear what you're saying, but and, hello. Uh, we're going to see how it works. Do we still have a good connection? I think so. Okay, we're going to keep going back. We're going to see how far we can go before we lose connection. This has to be at least 600 feet. Hello. I'm signaling to Margie. I'm signaling. I'm way down here at the beach. I think we're going to just see how far we can go. And, and still, these incredible microphones are going to work. So we're going to check out the sound quality and see if tiny. it's going to go. I'm going to keep going. Just This has got to be at least 600 feet. So we're doing a little test here. I really like these microphones. I mean, how far? The original, they could only go like 210 feet. Now these are 656 feet, wow. they say. So, okay, that was a good test. We're gonna see if that actually works. 656 feet is a long way. Okay, that was a nice test. I'm interested to see how far these microphones could actually go. Yes. So we're gonna check it out around Venice Beach. We're gonna walk around some corners. We're gonna test these out to see how well they work and if there's any interference. Let's go to the Venice Beach Boardwalk. Let's go. Okay, we're coming up to some people entertainment. We're going to see how these microphones work when there's a lot of background noise. See how these microphones work with these guys behind us. Yeah, they're working pretty good. Always something going on here at Venice Beach. Great entertainment here in Venice. Margarita's going back home to Mexico and has to buy some t-shirts for her cousins and nieces. So we're going to use this opportunity to test these microphones in a real world environment. I really like these ones and they're more friendly with my budget. So I really like some of these ones. These microphones work great with this GoPro. It's so awesome because it makes a really lightweight vlogging setup. Okay, we're gonna try another t-shirt shop until we find the right design that we're looking for. Okay, these are 15, these ones. Oh, look, 12, perfect. The signal is strong even though Margarita's back is turned. You don't lose any signal or hear any static. Even if objects come between the transmitter and the receiver, it still works with no static. So I'm gonna go for Andrea. Let me check where are the crop tops. Me for like a black one. I don't see a black one. And then supposedly, yeah. No, but this is the same. All right, let me check. Different design, maybe. I'm looking for a red one, but not crop. Right. Yeah. I had to do my own tests, and as you can see, it still works well, even if your back is turned and the transmitter is obstructed. T-shirts and hats. So, so great. So now I have my back turned, and I just want to see how it, it's going to work. L.A. hat. How do I look? Good? Okay. I love it here in Venice Beach. It's always a million cool t-shirts and generally for really cheap prices. The Rode Wireless Go 2 is an incredible tool for today's filmmaker. You can just clip it on this shirt and go. And for a two-person vlogging crew, it's the perfect solution. And the fact that you can connect it to your computer as a VO mic or connect your professional microphones and even when your back is turned, it keeps connection 90% of the time. So for the price, you can't beat it. I hope this review helped answer some questions about the Rode Go 2. If I were you, I would go buy it now. That's it for our first equipment review. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and enjoy the life.